So, it's been about a week since we've had the babies. Um, maybe about two weeks since we've had the burrows in the ground. It has been very, very stormy, very rainy the last couple of days. We got our first snow today. So how are they doing? How are the buckets doing? These are all questions that we're coming out to find out the answers for right now. Hello, Miss Bill. Hello, Miss Bill. She's so sweet. Say hi to her, Emma. <laughs> she only loves Sam. I should have worn my mock boots. That's some awesome mud there. Okay, we're gonna check on these babies. Okay, we gotta be way more careful with this Can one. you do it? So I'm gonna do it while Emma holds the camera. This is kind of difficult out here in the uh, snow and rain. That's close to my face. Okay. All right. Let's get. Hey, Bill. You don't want to risk getting any water down into those babies. So it looks like there is a little bit of water getting in, I think, from the seal that is missing on the bucket. So I am actually gonna go and replace this lid with the other bucket's lid who does not have babies inside. Because that is not needed. Oh, they are so cute. So everybody is happy, they're getting big. I don't want to waste any of Mama's hair in there, but it's sticking to my fingers. Yeah, it looks like everybody's doing super good. So we're going to close that back up. I'm really pleased with how dry everything seems to feel in there. It's very, very warm. So that is a win for the bucket burrows. That's awesome. Let's get that new lid over here. Miss Bell's come to say hi. Hey baby. These cute rabbits have found something tasty to munch on. Wonder what it is. <laughs> Wonder if they're picking out some alfalfa or some Timothy hay that has been spilled. But everything seems really good out here. We are really, really happy with these buckets. Bucket burrows. We've got a how-to on that. I'll link to that in the end screen. It is chilly chilly out here but these rabbits seem super good. So let's check on some of these birds. Looks like they are enjoying their quality time in the chickasha. I think most everybody else is over either in the chicken coop or the pig pen. I think we're gonna make a fun treat with the family tonight so let's get to it. So what treat are you going to make for us, Emma? Um, I'm going to make marshmallow popcorn balls. So you better clean this kitchen. Oh. Get to it. All the way over there. What if I don't want to? <laughs> <laughs> we always like to clean the kitchen first before we make any treats. But what we're doing, popcorn. Marshmallow. <laughs> marshmallow balls. So that should be very tasty. So what do you do on a stormy cold gross day you make treats and you play video games let's check out what the other half of the family's up to <laughs> Oh, 
little guys didn't get. No. All those round things are off the box. Nintendo old version of Super Mario 3. On the Raspberry Pi. That's not food. Carry on. Okay. Sarah. What are you watching? You watching Barbie? We are watching a Barbie mermaid tale. We love when we can do a lazy day. My own personal enjoyment. Oh my, it's huge. Yes, it is. And it will be easier to mix them up in. Thanks for coming along with us today on this crazy adventure that we like to call homesteading. Make sure to give us that thumbs up, <laughs> comment, like, share, and subscribe if you want to. Thank you for the support, and hopefully we will see you tomorrow. Emma will post the recipe to this amazing treat on our Facebook page, Willow Creek Homestead. And on Instagram. That's a lot. Life's the truth about us.